Hi everyone. I uh, just received my Cuddlebug quilling kit and I wanted to do a short little tutorial of the first time making one of these cool little quilled flowers. So, here's the quick kit and what it comes with is there's a little sample on top. Very cute little example of the flower that you can make. Very cute. Okay, and then inside the kit, you get some little wires uh, to make yourself some flowers. If you want to make them stand up, you get the cool little cuddle bug quilling tool. Oh, that was kind of neat. It's got a little slit at the end that's just big enough for a piece of paper, like my fingernail won't even go in there. Well, it might, but I have really thick nail polish on right now. And then the other end is kind of rounded, so you can smash petals into your palm or, or uh, bend them however you need. And then the best part is the four dies that it comes with. And um, they're actually long, and I don't have the 13-inch um, cutting plates for the cuddle bug, but we're just going to kind of try it out and see if I can make it work with my regular plates because I really don't want to buy the other ones because they're expensive. And if I can make it work without it, it'll be a bonus. So what you get is you get four dies. You get the center die and it cuts four of those out. You get the next section, which is the next center, I guess, or you can be the small daisy. And it cuts two of those. And then you get the large petals for the outside, and it's just one. And you also get some leaves. And um, these are plain, and then these are veined. So I'm not going to cut the leaves right now. I'm going to start with the center. And I picked out this blue paper. I'm going to actually use a little bit of adhesive. Um, we'll use just some repositional adhesive and we'll put it right here and right here. Paper. So then I've got a plate, B plate, C plate. Let's try it again. It did work. It comes off of there really nice. And there are my one, two, three, four. And I do have a little bit of adhesive that you can just roll right off of there. And so I'm going to cut out all the other pieces and then we'll come back. This done. Here's what I cut out. I have four centers, the two next sections, and then I actually cut out two of the big petals. Um, using the shorter plates is definitely not the best way to do it, but it worked out and until I can buy the, the longer plates, which are like 20 bucks a piece, give or take a couple bucks here and there, it'll work for now. Um, okay, so I've seen a couple different... Um, things online and the instructions with the cooling set say to actually glue these together, but I'm going to just go with it. Um, and this is the first time I'm doing this, 
So if this completely falls apart, um, it's it's first time. So there we go. Um, so I'm just going to start here, and it's actually really easy to just roll it around. And I'm just keeping it, you know, the same level the entire way. And I am using a one-sided pattern paper for these and these. So that's where it's going to get a little trickier for me. So I need to make sure I know which way I'm rolling this. And so um, I know this is going to need to go this way. So what I'm going to do is put a little drop of adhesive in here. Maybe even a little drop there. I'm going to stick this sucker in here my little petals going up. And then I just hold this, it kind of came untwisted, and just twist it back. I'm going to hold it for just a second for that glue to dry. And I'm going to decide if I'm going to use both of the center sections or not. I know I'm just going to use one blue, but I don't know how many reds I'm going to use. Um, so let's just start quilling this, and we will see if we like it. And pretty much all I'm doing is rolling it between my fingers and I'm kind of keeping it nice and tight just so I can, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to keep it with just one. I think I used both. Yeah, they used both on the example. And it is nice and full looking, but I don't think I need it. And you know what? I actually did that backwards. Well, yeah, because... If I do it this way and I fold the petals out, they're going to be white. So let's unroll that. And good thing they gave me two of them. And I'm a beginner, so I'm learning how this works. Let's take this out. Let's do it again. And we want to do it this way. So let's get that glue to stick. And take two. Let's try this. Oh, it came unglued. I think I need another dot of glue. Let's stick another dot of glue in there. Let's put that right there. Stick it. Hold it for just a couple seconds. Without this tool, I cannot even imagine doing this. Okay. And you can um, put drops of glue as you go through. I've heard some people do that, but it's actually staying really well. Okay. Yeah, and I, I like one. We'll just do one. Okay, and now the larger petals. And I'm thinking I'm going to do two of that one. Um, as people are saying that they like the look of the two better, and you can kind of overlap them so they're not together. The petals aren't together. And you get a kind of... Um, overlapped style instead of them filing right between right behind the, the one before it. So we just hold this for just a sec. And I remember I'm rolling it um, print side in again. I was worried how this would cut because this paper has some glitter this is from um, a die cuts with a view um, stack, and it's got that thick kind of glitter um, style to it. And I was kind of worried that it wouldn't cut through, and it cut just like butter. It was really nice. So I'm going to make sure my petals are kind of offset when I put this next one in there. Give it a second to dry. to the end here. Let's make sure my flower is as tight as I want it. Let's put a drop of glue, a big glop of glue in there. Stick it down. Make sure it's dry. This glue dries rather fast. And then it's just 
just as easy as working your tool out, which I just kind of pulled it out. My ends are a little squished up, so it came ugly. Let's hold it a little bit more. Adjust it. And so far, it looks pretty good. We'll flare the petals out here. Very cute. Make sure it's good and stuck. Okay, and then you can just start kind of going in here and bending the petals out however you like. Very cute. And there you have it. You can even take your tool and you can um, put it on each petal individual and you can kind of roll them. Or you can use your tool to kind of um, push things if your center is kind of poking out and you don't like that, sit on the table and give it a little tap. And that is my very first um, quilled flower from the Cricut Daisy uh, quilled flower set. Thanks for watching.